Hello everyone. I'm at the beach in our own hometown and I'm collecting sea glass. Um, there are also beautiful shells here and I just love to wander along and pick up all the treasures. Just in front here, you can't see them, but there are a whole lot of surfers sitting out on their boards waiting for a good wave. So what a beautiful morning to find some sea glass. These are my treasures from this morning and some lovely little rounded pieces of green glass just ready to be made into jewellery. So we are going to begin with two lengths of silver plated wire one millimetre thick and they are 16 centimetres long each of them. Set them into your handheld vise with the tails underneath where it's clamped together. And twist the two ends together evenly. You want a nice even twist here. And then I take my little piece of wire that is a size 7 and I check for size. Take your twisted wires out of your vise. And again you can check for size. You see there are two little tails on that end as well. These will be the claws that go around your glass. Check for size again. I was going to use that piece but it was too thick. So in the end I chose another piece. Now you're going to hammer the twist nice and evenly. Not too hard because you'll break the strands but just enough to show up the pattern of the twist in the band, so it looks pretty. Once you've hammered the ring band, you're going to trim those tails to the same length as the other end. This all depends on the thickness of the bead or the stone or the sea glass that you are setting in this ring. You can make them a little bit longer if you like, but this one works. At this stage you can also polish the band a little bit if it's at all corroded. Now we're going to wrap that band around your ring mandrel for size. So you can check your size on here as well. Squeeze it round nice and tightly. Flatten the ends. And then off we go for the next fun part of this project. Tap the, the ends of the ring with your hammer just to set them in place and make them flat. You can also check for size again at this stage. It doesn't hurt to keep checking the size. Now we're going to join those ends together. Straighten out your wires so they lie parallel to each other and then fit it together so it all lines up. Take a length of a 0.5 millimeter silver plated wire, 20 centimeters long should do it. I've just fed the end through one of the twists and then that'll really help set it in place and wrap it around to anchor it. And then you're going to wrap it around both of the, the sets to make a nice little base for your glass. Wrap it around the two sets of tails, um, building up quite a nice little flat shape. Almost looks like a herringbone in the end. Um, rather than building up a bulky little bundle of wire, you can make it look quite pretty in itself. Once you have wrapped the joining wire around and around those two sets of tails and then you're going to just take the two ends together of the 0.5 millimeter wire twist them together so they're nice and strong and it all holds together nicely and then I have curled it up underneath once it's all twisted then I just take that little twist and curl it up underneath the wrap so it's out of sight and it's all nice and neat. I think that looks good. Now you're going to put that ring back on the ring mandrel 
and tap the area that you've wrapped your join just to set the wires and to flatten the bed that the sea glass will sit on or be set in. Then you can flatten the claws, your tails, ready to fit over the sea glass and to not be raised above it. So this will all help to make the ring nice and neat and professional looking. This is so much fun. So now we take our glass and we fit it into the ring. It's not perfect shape. It's just as I picked it up on the beach. So no shaping at all. And to make a beautiful little ring out of something like that. I am so pleased with it. I love it that it's also re upcycled, recycled and repurposed. It's just a great way to make jewellery. When you've bent it up around your glass, then just file the ends of the wires also so they sit nice and flat and they don't snag anything. And there we are. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm going to make lots more of these. Now, most of all, I want you to look after yourself, look after the people who are nearest and dearest to you, and even those who are strangers. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching and staying to the end. Bye-bye.